Papua New Guinea has been urged by other Pacific Island countries to play a leading role on issues affecting the region. And to reaffirm its position as the leader in the Pacific, Papua New Guinea has offered to host the 2015 Pacific Island Forum. This will coincide with the country's 40th independence anniversary. The Prime Minister returned to Port Moresby tent and content returning from the Cook Islands. He was accompanied by National Planning Minister Charles Abel on arrival. The welcome home reception was led by Deputy Prime Minister Leo Dion. Prime Minister hailed a recently concluded PIF meeting in Cook Islands a success. For PNG, our PM used the opportunity to hold bilateral talks with Australia's Prime Minister Julia Gillard on the asylum issue. He told Julia Gillard Manus has been approved but will not sign until NEC is advised. O'Neill says the processing centre should not be a one of thin but should be permanent. We want this facility to be a, uh, a regional processing facility rather than just do it on one off situation with the Australian government. So that is the key message that we are putting across to the Australian government. Australia's development assistance program was also high on the agenda. This will be further discussed during the ministerial forum in October. Prime Minister O'Neill also pledged to uphold the Tuna Treaty with the U.S. It received much praise from U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. He says the PIF members have also called on the Fijian government to follow the democratic process of free and fair elections to be reinstated as part of the PIF. Mickey Cavera, National MTV News.